Vice TV, this is the publisher of Bike Banner, reaches out. Missed to resolve dispute with APC presidential candidate Tinubu. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Arise Television and DJ newspaper on one side and the All Progressive Congress presidential campaign council have been at loggerhead after the All Progressive Congress PCC in a joint statement by Delia Lake and Bayo Onanoga, who are both members of the council, verbally attacked Obaik Bana over the detail published by the media organization's board of editors. The editor-in-chief of the Arise Television and this day newspaper, Chief Induka Obaik Bana, has reached out to the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tenembo, to resolve the issues Sahar reporters learned on Friday. Arise TV and Disney newspaper on one side and the AL All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council have been at loggerhead after the APC PCC in a joint statement by Dele Alake and Bayo Onanoga, who are both members of a council verbally attacked Obaik Bana over the editorial published by the media organization Boss of Editors. However, sources told Sahara reporters that Obaik Bana reached out to Timbu's camp to resolve the disagreement between them. Obaik Bana reached out to resolve his issue with Tunubu. They met at the house of former Ogun State Government Chief Shegun Osoba to discuss how to escalate the problem, one of his sources said. The PCC in the statement accused Obaik Bana and the media platforms of corruption and lacking the moral rights to moderate public discourse. The media organization responded to the All Progressive Congress PCC accusations while Obaik Bana, through his chief of staff, Fazuya Mohammed, in a statement captioned, Lies have short legs, they do not run far. The fake news from Bayu Onanuga, Onanuga and Deli Alake said that the All Progressive Congress PCC should address the questions by the organization's journalists whether they can counter them with wild and misleading allegations and fake news. Arise TV and DJ newspaper had accused Tinubu of dodging their interview request, but Tinubu's camp allegedly responded by seeking the sacking of his TV anchor, Rufai Usini. The statement read in part, The journalists at this day and Arise News Channel are doing their duty by raising pertinent questions. Rather than addressing our questions, Alake and Unanaga countered with wide and misleading allegations and fake news. We did not dismiss the allegation and address them frontally. We now challenge them to respond with facts to the legitimate questions of the Nigerian people through their media. Present your presidential candidate for town hall meetings, debates, and interviews by the independent media that last for more than 80 minutes and not prearranged town halls where questions are preset, prearranged, and rehearsed. The results of media bullying tactics, blackmail, and fake news will not work. Journalists are not your opponent in the 2023 elections. When they go low, we go high. The two members of the All Progressive Congress, PCC, Onanoga and Alake, soon fired back at the editor-in-chief of the Rice Television and this day newspaper, Obai Bona, over his response to the Doe's allegation against the media groups, describing him as a congenital blackmailer and hustler whose statements were a mere rambling. Onanoga and Alake said that Obai Bona's largely diversionary composition was an attempt to deodorize his ethical problems, as they try to deflect attention from those pertinent issues we raised about ethics. They maintain that there is nothing he said to creditably detract the judge from an accurate summation of his well-known perverse and ignoble approach to media practice over the years, a practice that continues to undermine the integrity of journalism profession in the country. In his first statement attacking us, Obai Gwena craftily attempted to mischaracterize as an attack on free speech, our principal stand against his blackmail to have Asiwaji Bola Tembo appear on a rise television and its PDP sponsored town hall meetings. In the second statement, he was still adamant that our candidate must attend his town hall debate, despite a stand that a candidate is already executing another communication strategy to reach the most important targets the Nigerian voters. We repeat again, we will not make our candidate available to validate a scheme which in the light of unassailable information at our disposal is nothing but a racket by the Arise television owner designed to embarrass our candidates. Well, at this point, I am waiting for what the outcome is going to be. Imagine 
few minutes ago, I'm telling you, it's not even up to 10 minutes ago, I read a particular news article where Tinubu came out and said they fought for democracy and, you know, it is their responsibility to always remind us that they fought for democracy. Then he said something about NSAS, that if it was during, you know, the military regime that NSAS happened, that a lot of people would have died. And he was saying these things. And I'm like, you fought for democracy, the same democracy you are fighting. The same democracy today that you are fighting is the one you fought for. So what's now the essence? You fought for democracy and then you are trying to... Look at the... the if you listen to the news, you hear when they asked that Rafael Seni, the journalist in, that works with Arise Television, should be sacked. And I'm asking myself, if you fight for democracy, if you're going to start talking about, you know, who fought for democracy, who did not fight, why did they fight for democracy? Why was why did the people who participated in NSA, why were they killed? Is it not something similar? We are not a military regime, but people were killed. Until date, nothing has been said. For everybody that raises their head to come and ask questions about it, the person is, I've, I've heard of people who came at witnesses, how some of them were attacked, and if, if that is if they were not killed. That is how bad it is. And then you are coming to tell us, yeah, you fight with democracy. What was that? I beg. All that, everything happened under the APC government. You said nothing about it till now. I said you even made a mistake. You should not have even mentioned it at all. Then you are still coming out and you said the fought for democracy. Meanwhile, somebody who is doing his own job, they are doing their job at a rise television. Though I am also of the view that it is not, they don't have a gun point to Tunubu's call to make sure he, he comes and, you know, to a rise television. There are other TV stations. But there is a gun pointed to his call because if you demand for a job, you have to go. You have to go for an interview. So we need to ask him questions, most especially Questions concerning his manifesto. Oh, this one, we don't understand. What do you say you are going to do here? What does this one mean? How are you going to get us from this point to that point? We need to ask all those questions so that tomorrow we don't get a, a Buhari photocopy because during Buhari's um, campaign, he did not come out to say things himself. People were making speeches for him the same way they are making for Tunubu. And what happened is after the elections, when Baba got there, he told us he did not say anything. That is all those promises that he was not the one. So for that reason, they could not hold him responsible. So we don't want a repeat. We want somebody who will come and tell us, okay, I said this. And this is how I'm going to move from it. So that tomorrow we hold you to your jugular by your words. He's not coming out. Then they are saying the, the, uh, uh, the, the head. Is it the head? That's Mr. Gbaibana. Yes. The Disney publisher. Which is how to resolve their dispute. They should resolve the difference, but the thing is, resolving their dispute is not a problem. A problem is Tunubu is not coming out. And as, as I've told Nigerians, we we need to let these people go. He does not want to come out or talk to us. We too. If somebody does not come for an interview and you're at your office, will you go and force the person? No. You have other people too that came. You focus on them now and you give the best out of them the job. And that is what we are going to do. We focus on people who are going to come out, sell themselves to us, make themselves available for us to ask questions. Then we are convinced by them, and then we give them our mandate. It is that simple. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your knee, come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.